Why does shit feel like my skin ate it? Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First Week Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today I'm joined by Kiki Palmer. You know her from Scream Queens. She recently released a memoir, I Don't Belong to You, and you can catch her in the upcoming second season of Berlin Station. Kiki, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. How are you with hot food? I love hot food. I just took two Zantac, so you know I'm prepared for this. That's a veteran move, Kiki. That's a veteran move. Well, we did bring you wings, but the gag is that Woo! some of them are covered an extremely hot sauce. Are okay. you ready to get it going? I'm very ready. So the first one is sriracha. Sriracha is no big deal. Mm -hmm. So I want to start by talking about my favorite Kiki Palmer song and video, <laughs> Got Me Effed Up, because it plays <laughs> on this idea of people underestimating your savage side. So true. Can you give me a time in your life or in your career where somebody tried you and had to find out the hard way how real you can be? Oh my gosh, it's happened a, a jillion times. I'm trying to think of the level of savagery I can actually let you all into. You can go there. Okay. It's just a hot wing chicken show. It's not, it's not, it's not that big of a deal, you know what I mean, but... <laughs> you have to, you have to. Okay, now, so one time this, I was talking right. to this guy, right? I mean, I'm a very chill type of girl. I'm not over extravagant, I'm not extra. You know what I mean, I'm very, just very chill. And I think a lot of times guys will think that I might be that way when they meet me. Mm -hmm. So much so that they think they can just start playing games and being all types of ways, not realizing that I don't have time and I have other places to be. I come out in a very slight little petty way. And I just saw a picture of, you know, someone he knew and I was just like, you know, retweet and quote, handsome. And the rest is history. And I don't go too hard in the paint, but I let you know, I can come for you, don't make me. But I can come for you, don't make me. I like how you're eyeing me down, like. I know, suspicious. I don't know why I eyed you down so bad. <laughs> All right, so you're very in touch with internet culture. Mm -hmm. And then two, these pictures of you kind of take on a life of their own online. So ah. what I've done is I've pulled some of the pictures that you even meme yourself with. So I'll just show you the picture and you talk it through. Does that sound good? <laughs> Sounds great. First one, and probably the most popular. Oh, the gag is! I love that one. I mean, that one's the perfect time when, you know, you're ready to gag someone, when you're ready to just kind of remind somebody what's going on. You want to let somebody know you're not one to mess with, or you want to remind them that actually, if the joke's on you, this would be the perfect meme to use. This ah! one, this one's all over. That one is like, like a sneaky on the sly, like I bet you didn't know I could come at you like that kind of vibe. It's similar to the gag, but not really. It's like a, there's a card up your sleeve. Exactly. And you didn't know. You and didn't, you didn't know, know that know. I had that you trump card. You didn't know. Mm. This one, this one gets used a lot too. Talk to me about this meme. This is my absolute favorite one because this is me to the goddamn T, baby, okay? I don't know what's going on with the millennial guys these days, but they want girls to chase them damn near. But it's like girls want to be, you know, worshipped. You got to just show a girl some love. Be romantic. Tell her she look nice. Act just thirsty for her. And then maybe you'll be able to get the kind of relationships that you want. But guys aren't putting enough out there to They're get that. They're not thirsty enough. They're not thirsty enough. I need the thirst. I need you to be thirsty, honey. Thirsty like I'm about to be after these hot wings. Probably ain't gonna be nothing major. Getting cocky, I love it. Just as I suspected. So you have an IMDB page that's about a mile long, and <laughs> I feel like I could ask you about a million different projects, but I do want to focus this wing on one project in particular. It's The Long Shots, mm. a movie that you did with Ice Cube, and notably, it's directed by Limp Biscuit frontman Fred Durst. This is very true. He was just very chill, you know, just like a cool kind of guy, and it, I mean, it was definitely like working, you know, with someone you're a fan of, like, whoa. And too, I don't want to blow too much smoke, Kiki, but I would say that on the throwing, the fundamentals, actually pretty good. And I should know, I played a little high school football. Oh, that's very impressive there. Yeah, I totally worked with Pastor Denny, who actually is still out in Louisiana, Shreveport, um, you know, teaching a bunch of kids down at his school. Like, literally did the whole drills with me, taught me how to throw about 40 yards. So, you know, pretty impressive. And a tight spiral, and a tight <laughs> spiral. <laughs> I'm gonna need you guys to start amping it up a bit. 
I love this. I love this. I'm over here eating it like a damn animal. So you're a woman with strong perspective, strong opinions, and then you open it up to fans oftentimes with this hashtag Ask Kiki. So what I've done is I've pulled some quandaries of my own. I want to bounce them off of you and just get the best Kiki answer I can get. Does that sound good? Sounds good. How do I get more people to watch my YouTube videos? Uh, be yourself. Don't be trying to think about doing stuff that is perceived as cool online. Just think about doing whatever it, it, it separates you. What makes you an individual? My chakras are out of whack. What do I do? Chakras are out of whack? Okay, girl, this is not a major deal. All we have to do is check on the food we've been eating. Have mm -hmm. we been having too much calcium in our diet? Because that always brings a little nervousness. And then also, make mm -hmm. sure you incorporate that meditation. Make sure you incorporate that yoga and take your ass to church on Sunday. You need to be with the people. How do I become a ganjapreneur? Oh, if you want to become a ganjapreneur, <laughs> hit up your local <laughs> weed shop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next one is the Hot One Sauce. You're on the Hot One Show. This mm. is our hot sauce. And here's the thing, Kiki, if you don't like this hot sauce, and I think it is going to be a walk in the park for you because we have like a little bit of a sweeter sauce, but okay. I'm curious about your opinion on this one because I know you'll give it to me real. Mm. I like the flavoring of this. Definitely not blowing me back hot, but... It's definitely blowing me back in favor. So when I was in college for a semester, I ended up living with 11 sorority girls at one point. And in addition to your role on Scream Queens, you had some real life sorority experience of your own. Ah, uh, yes, yes. So I did have a bit of a, a mini uh, sorority experience. I went to Howard University when I was like uh, 17 years old with one of my mentors. But when I got there, the girls were not feeling me. And so it was a very like typical, you know, situation where you, you're coming in on people's crew and their clique. And it's like, you're not kind of invited to the scenario. So it was definitely weird in that, you know, surrounding for me. But other than that, I had a blast at the school and I still have a lot of love for AKAs. That one's a little hot. Starting it's to not get really hot, it. but it's a little hot. That's good, because I was a little worried about disappointing you, Kiki, the way that you breezed through those first five. Yeah, I'm afraid you guys might. So I'm sure that there are a handful of our viewers that recognize you from some of your more early roles, like True Jackson VP. Yeah, True Jackson VP. You said why not? But I want to take the spotlight off of you for a second and focus it on some of the other iconic teen shows. And I just want to get your snap reactions to them, okay? <laughs> yes. You like this? I love this. All right, Moesha. Talk to me about Moesha. Moesha is the culture, it is everything. A classic, great coming of age, uh, everything, a family show, funny, dramatic, a learning experience, it was awesome. What about Degrassi? Woo, Degrassi, yo. Degrassi was so educational and so dramatic. It had so much drama, very young, Teen soap. And did you do a guest spot on Degrassi? I did. I actually did do a guest spot on Degrassi, the second generation. Did you miss Drake or did you meet Drake or did you? So it's actually funny. The gag is Drake was actually the person that took us on our tour, like the first time and the second time. And so I met him before he actually, you know, became his music sensation, even though he was doing music all that time. And it was so funny because I just remember being like, you know, biggest Degrassi fan. This is zombie apocalypse, and I don't want to oversell it. I don't want to get too cocky, but I feel like this is where it's going to ramp up for you a little bit, okay, Kiki? Hmm. <laughs> it's a little hot. It ain't taking me nowhere for real. Wow. What can I say? So you're coming off a uh, time where you did a lot of book signings mm -hmm. and you were at Comic-Con. Those seem like the hottest of hotbeds for bizarre, or at the very least, very memorable celebrity fan interactions. When you think back <laughs> on those things. <laughs> Wait, I'm laughing because I'm sweating slightly. It's Even a, though it's not hot to me, really, it, my body is responding. You said it wasn't taken yet anywhere, it is. <laughs> it is though, Kiki. <laughs> This is hilarious. You guys thought you had something up your sleeves, didn't you? I have looks to do like, this every week. Kiki. Looks like you're I have to do this. up. I feel like the wheels are coming off of my whole, like, my whole wave. You know what I mean? Like, I have to do this every week. I feel like it's slowly, like, taking me out. It's slowly. <laughs> yeah. Your heartburn must be ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Bizarre fan interaction. 
What surprises me is when somebody is completely and utterly introverted and they're like, you know, they come to the signing or something like that. And I'm like, hey, how you doing? Girl, what's good? I'm so happy you're here. Thank you. Did you enjoy the book? How's it feeling? It's definitely got me. <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> it doesn't have me majorly. I'm just getting hot because of these lights in here. I thought it was these wings, but it's the lights. Yeah, it's totally the lights. We've been here for a while. Ooh. I'm, not, I'm just drinking this milk because, you know, it's just milk. <laughs> milk helps. Milk will bring you back down. I don't need it. So I want to talk about one of your favorite topics now, astrology. When Mercury is in retrograde, how, if at all, does it affect your life? Does it change the activities? Does it change your mood? So I don't really get too down to the too much of the specifics as far as the horoscope daily activities. With you don't the read signs. it every day? I'm more so into what they're saying the personality breakdown is. Let me give you three celebrities, okay? Okay. Two of them are Virgos, one of them is not. I want you to try to pinpoint the one who is not, okay? Okay. Beyonce, Kobe Bryant, The Rock. Uh, Kobe Bryant's not. Kobe Bryant's the Leo, I think. Wait, did I mess this up? Beyonce, we all Hold know is a Virgo. Hold on. I think I might have messed she this up. She wears it well. You know what, though? Here's the deal. I think I might have messed this up. Yeah, Kobe's a Leo. And he's obviously a Kobe Leo. Kobe Bryant. Birthday. But if he's a Virgo, <coughs> even better. Okay, so he's he was he's August 23rd. Oh no, he's a Virgo, baby! He's a Virgo! It all makes sense! Tell me why. Tell me why, because you said he, you ethic, said he is for ethic, sure. Work ethic. Okay. Beyonce, Mother Teresa, in every field, we've got it. Kiki Palmer. It. Come on, you said it, not me! Hey! Not me! So this is Mad Dog 357. This is our second house. What's the number sauce. mean? Oh, that's a good question. And very rarely can I ever answer the questions that our guests ask. They're always like, oh, Scoville scale, what does that mean? All, all that stuff, oh right? Gosh. I never know any of the answers. That's good. But there's a unit of measurement called the Scoville scale, and that's what measures heat. So this is 357,000 Scoville units. So that's where the 357 meter comes from. <laughs> If you must know, Kiki. <laughs> you people are nuts. It's tough to argue that. <sighs> it ain't gonna be nothing. Look at <laughs> you! <laughs> I'm protecting my throat for as long as I can. <laughs> I'm a chew it can't be chewed. I'm good. Okay. So as we touched on already, you have an IMDb page a mile long and you've been in this industry since you were nine years old, most of your life in fact. What's your best advice for how to get the best of greedy executives and hangers-on so that they don't get the best of you? <laughs> I'm just feeling that breeze. I'll do it. <laughs> um, you have to always remember who you are and always what it is you want. Why it is you? <laughs> <sighs> Y'all owe me a keratin treatment. I think that's fair. So, Kiki, a lot of talk early in the early on. You know what I mean? This is all a gag. I'm doing this, this just a, for the comedy. I, I was doing this for the comedy for y'all. Oh, y okay. Just now, I this drop is all a of it. That was all for comedy. <laughs> I'm not really hot. All of that was a joke. I'm good in the hood, <laughs> like I was saying. Anyway, the point I was making before I started doing all them jokes. Yeah, total jokes. Was, Definitely you know, gags. the industry, it will make you believe that you have to be other people, but the reality is you can be yourself. As long as you remember what it is you came into the industry for, then your managers, your agents can never deter you and bring you to the direction that's not true to who you are. All right, Kiki. We have one wing left to go, <laughs> and we are now to the final hot sauce. Okay. It is Blair's Mega Death Sauce with Liquid Rage. It's tradition around here to put a little extra dab on the last wing. You Who don't the hell have to this? if you don't want to. 
I just do like a little, little that, little that. That's a little excessive, but like a little extra. You don't have to if you don't want to, Kiki Palmer. You don't have to if you don't want to. You don't have to. Don't make me seem like I'm a wimp. Whoa. All I'll right. take a All challenge. Right. All right. Easy though. That's a little. That's you're you're bouncing it, and it's <laughs> making me nervous that you're gonna. Is that enough? That's that's good. 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 The hell he's saying that's good. That's good. <laughs> I get nervous for people. We've had, we have people come in here and they're like, ah, bleh, and then they're like a little reckless with it. And then they like glob their last wing. And then I'm like, do you have like a thing after this? You know what I mean? Like I Who's worry. done this the best? The best, okay. Um, I would say who handled it the best, maybe YG. Kanan. Well, he was telling me that he goes to Wingstop, he gets atomic wings, and then he dips them in he atomic was acting. sauce. But I'm sitting across, and like right now, like Kiki, I would say this: you ha you're handling it right now, way better than our average guest. Okay? But I was sitting across from YG, and he was like, "No big deal." He was, he was like not phased at all. He was like, he was mad at us for not making them hot enough. Are you kidding me? No joke, no joke. So YG was great. Uh, Tommy Chong, Jay Farrow, all these people. Kiki Palmer, Kiki Palmer, definitely Kiki, Kiki. Top 10. Hmm. Top five. Let's take this last one. All right. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. I really appreciate you for letting me come on here. I appreciate you for coming in and eating chicken wings and answering my questions. It's, it's a fun gag. It is? I enjoy it. Are you sure you don't regret it? I worry about that. I didn't go out of that. Why does shit feel like my skin ate it? Why it the hell like is my skin on fire? Where is your skin on fire? Right here. My skin is burning, B. There? It's bird here. Mm. It's bird. I don't know. I don't know. That would be a new thing, but listen, we've had people go places. You're now going somewhere, aren't you now? Interesting. Hot sauce that plays tricks. Mm hmm And speaking of tricks, it would be a waste of a Kiki Palmer interview if we did not talk about the gag is, your signature phrase, the gag is. I love it when I see it on Twitter, the gag is. I love it when you're on these late night shows and you're doing the gag is. So what I wanna do is have a little gag is off, okay. okay? I'll hit you with a little gag is joke, then you hit me with a little gag is joke, and then the first one to run out of gag is jokes loses. Does that sound good? All right, sounds good. All right. I just took a dab of Blair's Mega Death Sauce with Liquid Rage, the gag is, I have to do it because this is the only real thing cooking in my career right now. I'm sweating like a hound, but the gag is, I didn't exercise, I just ate some hot wings. I thought that this would be a good idea, but the gag is, I have a little hot sauce in my windpipe right now and it's getting kind of difficult to talk, so I won't mm. challenge you to go any further. Kiki, you made it through, you cleared the board, look at you. My own personal fan. Wow, Thank so you. glamorous, so elegant. Kiki, this camera, this camera, or this camera, let the people know what you have going on in your life. Yo, it's your girl, Kiki Palmer. You can check me on the second season of Berlin Station. I'm getting ready to travel to Berlin right now to become a spy. And you can also check me on all my socials, at Kiki Palmer on Twitter and at K-E-K-E -E on Instagram. Don't forget about Snapchat, at K-E-E-K-T-H-A-N, K-E-E-K. T-H-A-S-N-E-A-K and just anywhere else. Here's your girl, Keeks. We love you. Always. Oh, wait, wait. You guys, this was extremely hot. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, Hot Ones fans? If you liked the video, maybe meet us halfway. Throw us a subscribe. If you didn't like the video, don't subscribe. I don't want you. I don't want you in the tent. But if you liked the video, subscribe. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. I love you. More than a friend.